Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 2 of the Tamagotchi Reconnection series here. So let's get on to what has happened so far. So we have evolved to the next stage, and sadly both of them are currently the same thing. But usually in Gen 1, that is kind of much more of a common aspect of it. I did change the lighting up by the way, so you can actually see what's going on a bit better this time around. But there we go. They are both currently the same thing. And so... Let's get to one of the bigger issues I've had recently, and that's getting their weight down, which is kind of a weird thing to think about. So, a lot of this is based off the, uh, was it a lot of the V3 stuff, but I've also seen a lot of the V2 stuff in here as well. Uh, for example, we have Bump, which if you remember, Bump was a part of this device's thing right here. Or was it? Man, why am I forgetting? I don't know if Bump was... Yeah, yeah, Bump was part of the that device right there. Sorry. I don't know why my brain blinked out there for a second. But, uh, so I've only had experience with the Katai and Akai, which, if you remember, had their own separate mini games, which was the Music Note mini game, the Basketball slash Mail Letter game, and the Sprinting slash Swimming mini game. So those were the three on the original Katai and Akai. On this one, we have... Or we currently have the music game and Bump, which if you remember, Bump is like one of my least favorite games. So, oops, Let's see if I get into this. So here's Bump. You're basically waiting to push it, and then you just gotta get the bar full enough, which I didn't get it there. But to be honest, it doesn't even matter if you get the bar full, because this whole entire game is just a random nightmare. I still don't like Bump. Bump is like one of the worst games to me. It does pay you a decent amount of change and everything, but it's still like one of the most annoying ones. It still has its weird funkiness to it, and I don't like it. And a bigger issue I've been having with this device so far is weight, actually. And that's mostly because it just isn't easy to lose weight on this device. So far, it isn't easy to lose weight. It could change by the next evolution, which is possibly around the corner. It is nice that these evolutions have actually lasted a decent chunk a chunk of time compared to a certain other devices I've messed around with recently. So we are currently on the second stage, and it's actually gone through a bit of time already. So it is nice to know that it has actually lasted a bit longer. Because if you remembered, in the Smart series we just did, we were already by, like, stage 3 on episode 2. So it's very nice to still be at, like, stage 2. Stage one's always meant to be short, but it is very nice to still be at stage 2 at this point. We do have some c bun animations, though. He's singing along. I've all seen Blowing Bubbles. So, there's some pretty cool ones in there. It is exciting to actually have all these little animations in there. And I did actually buy an item on this side today. So we'll go over to the pink one in just a minute, but I did want to show off the item. And there we go. And on the pink side, I actually managed to catch the old man chopper or seller, which is kind of surprising that he's still in this device. And I'm mainly saying that because if you go into this eye over here, there is still a shop menu. So, the idea that I can still get items from a random old seller dude is kind of weird to me. Because, like, what's the purpose of him if there is a shop there? And, like, he isn't, he didn't give me, like, a rare item or anything like that. I don't think it's rare. Because, like, if you go into the shop function here, uh, we do actually have some really random items in here. We actually have a chest. Uh, let's buy the chest. I actually want to see what this is. Uh, let's see. And it's kind of interesting, that's, okay, so that's interesting, too. So, the items apparently change around. What's this chest do? What's this chest have to do? The screen is so reflective. Whoa, did it go back a stage? Oh, no, you just changed back for a second there. That's so weird of an evolution. Do we get to keep that item? No, we cannot. Okay, so that's good to know. I don't know what that item did, technically. 
It emptied all of our stats. That's great to know. Wait, if it emptied all of our stats, does that mean it also emptied my weight? <gasps> it did! That's awesome! Oh, so that's so cool. So the chest item lowers your weight. That's really sick to know. I say that because doing these mini games has taught me that you have to sit a while and just play these mini games. So this time around, the mini games are actually way more specific in giving out hearts as well. So you can't just sit there and like get to a specific number that's pretty low. Because in the original devices, you could have sat down and like got to, I want to say at least like 10 or 15 or something like that. Or oh, maybe 20. Because let's see, let's get to 20 here for a second. So there's 20. We got 10 bucks out of that. In the older device, you would have gotten at least something out of that. You would have gotten a heart. Now let's go back over to this one over here, and you find out there's no heart. So goods don't give you hearts anymore. And that has been a hugely tedious thing so far. Because that means you're really relying on items to get quick stuff done. Which is really a big pain, because like, let's say if you're busy with something, then you have to sit there and rely on items. And of course we're going to go through this mini game because it doesn't take too long. I kind of miss the speed up this mini game had though, to, like where it made it sort of more difficult. I get why they took that out, especially with the nerf to the like game itself. So I'm kind of curious. Okay, we got to 30 that time. So does 30 give us the... Yeah, okay, so we're at a great. So does that mean we have to get greats now? Okay, yeah, it does. So now if you want to get hearts in the mini games, you actually have to get at least to a great now. You can't stick to a good, which is a very different thing to see there. I am excited that the weight did go down, and I'm excited that I sort of know where to like stop my placement at in the one mini game to uh, get uh, weight lowered and stuff like that. So I'll probably be focusing on that from now on. And I'm excited that this one did get his weight lowered, or yeah, she got her weight lowered. And we did have some, we did have tr uh, three trainings today. So there we go. I did miss out on the other one because. The wonderful joys of this device is I had to learn what the new little symbols are for each of the characters. And to be honest, they still currently call out a lot more, so it's been fun trying to learn like what each symbol means and stuff like that. And I did go to a sort of convention today, so I probably missed out on some stuff. Which probably means we'll be getting some very interesting bad path evolutions for this first run, which is going to have to be fine. Because I went to a convention today, and that was pretty fun. Um, I picked up a random beat -em on and that's pretty much all I picked up. Met some cool voice actors and stuff like that, though. Which was really awesome. Had some cool conversations. Because, like, what else are you going to do? It was mainly, what was it? Like, my sister wanted to go like, uh, stop at some of the voice actors and stuff like that. So we went and did that. Had some cool conversations while waiting around there for some of the people. And got to see Weird Al, which was actually really awesome. It's one of those things you never get to expect in life, which is just really cool. I don't know. And then just the idea of seeing uh, Weird Al. But that's what was it? I think, uh, th I think it's called the Greater Austin Comic Con or something like that. It was a pretty cool little event, though. Uh, the only issue I had with the event, I've gone last year too, and it is the place they choose itself, the HEB Center, which isn't really much of a convention center. It's more like a basketball court in a weird way. It's not a good, good place for really uh, doing things. Well, not a basketball court. It's kind of weird. I don't know how you describe it. If you've ever been inside the HEB Center, you know what I mean. It's a very weird place. Like, it's it's more set up like a stadium than an actual, like, convention area. So, it's a very weird thing to have, but, uh... Oh, it went back in age... What? 
Actually, no. Is that this side too? Back in age? Okay, no. Okay, so they just haven't grown old yet. Okay. Very interesting. I had I did change the time to what I would consider my regular time, so it's not that shocking that they are probably still zero. But it is very interesting to see all the stuff. So that's pretty much it for this weird little episode here. We got to the next stage. We are now at the baby two stage. We've learned some cool things. So let's get to actually before we do in the episode, let's do some connections because why not? We have the power to connect. So present's kind of weird. So I was kind of learning how this works. Um, you don't actually need to buy presents for them and stuff like that. It is weird that, like, all these functions are now separated in a way. So, there you go. Oh, man. The screen is so reflective in an, a really annoying way. So, there you go. There's our guy floating away. And he gave a poop. I am working way much more on actually connecting them this time around than I have on, like, previous runs. Because I do want to at least try marrying them off at least one time during this whole entire thing. So let's see, we're going to aim for this side now. And we're going to go for this area. So yeah, it does actually separate the guys out into three different things. Which is very much more... Uh, I don't know how I appreciate that in a way. Because like in the older one, it was randomized. But like... The randomness kind of was cool in a way. I don't know. Because you got to see your Tom was growing a more natural state. Now you get to pick out what they do. Which is nice in terms of not having to deal with the game aspect anymore. Because if you remember, if you clicked game, they just... A lot of times they'd sit there and lose their own money. Which... Let's do item, actually. Let's see. What the heck? Oh, what what's going on here? <laughs> oh, oops. Let's see. Okay, so that actually opened up. What's going on here? Okay, maybe not. Okay, so we're going to hold off on that right there. At least for now. So, game seemed like the item function. I don't know if that was weird. I'll try that again real quickly. We'll try this. So, the things are actually different on both sides. So, I wonder if that changes depending on item as well. Like, do I need two of the same item? Yeah, I do. Okay. So I'm going to assume I need two of the same item for that. So let's see if we actually have the balloon in the shop real quickly. Because I know the balloon is a way more common item. So let's see. What do we got? Five things. Other things. And a bow. Okay, yeah. We don't have the balloon in there just yet. And let's see if we have the ball in the other one. So I am working on doing a lot more connections though and oh here's a different thing i just noticed souvenir i wonder what that means but um let's look in shop here do we have a ball no but we have another balloon which is kind of weird i already have enough balloons i don't need more balloons so Overall, we pretty much still in the more earlier stages of these devices, so not much is going on yet. In the next episode, we'll probably have a bit more interesting stuff to talk about, because we'll be introduced to another game, and just have stuff like that. So, I'm kind of curious on how the more mini games comes into aspect over time, because if you looked at the back of the box, it said 10 mini games. so I'm kind of curious on when all those get introduced and stuff like that. And usually these first generation runs are kind of the weird ones of the bunch because they usually lock evolutions away from you and stuff like that. So I'm kind of curious to see how 
these two do change over time. So, that'll probably be it for now. And it will actually be the end of this episode. I'm sorry for extending it in a weird, random fashion. But, uh, thank y'all for watching. And see you next time. Bye!